Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the horizontal line test. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So our example 15 here, okay? We consider two functions here, and we're going to see if they are one-to-one. -one. Well, one-to-one -one is a function, right? A function is one-to-one -one if it passes what we call the horizontal line test. So it has to be a function. And then if it passes the horizontal line test, it is one-to-one, -one, okay? It really means if every one input is going to have only one output. So let's look at our first graph here, okay? Our first graph here from before, right, is that function one-to-one, -one, right? Does it pass the horizontal line test? And no, it doesn't. We can see the graph here. We have a horizontal line that goes through, right, and it can touch at two points, right, or more than two also. But here we're so, we see just one point, okay? Well, actually, the thing is three technically. But it fails the horizontal line test, meaning this function is not one to one. All right, what about our second function here? Our second function. Well, our second function is a, a graph. It kind of looks like this. It's going down, right? All right, right here. Kind of goes on forever. This is our x, y axis right here. Is this function one-to-one? -one? Well, look at any horizontal line that we draw. We would only touch this function once for each one. So therefore, it actually passes our horizontal line test there, okay? Meaning that this function, whatever it is, is one-to-one. -one. So it's actually a pretty easy thing to find. The horizontal line test is quickly look, draw a horizontal line. Do we touch a function only once? If you touch it more than once, then it doesn't pass the horizontal, horizontal line test, therefore not one, two, one. I hope this video was helpful for you and you learned uh, something about the horizontal line test. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math, minute math. Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.